Hello there! Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hasbro Black Series Luke Skywalker Force Effects lightsaber. My sons and I picked this up back in the spring of 2018 when Toys R Us was going out of business. Uh, one of the first things that really kind of strikes me to talk about with this one here today is the change in the way the battery pack works. Um, the battery pack actually has an additional collar that you have to use a Phillips screwdriver to take off and I guess that the purpose of it is to keep the batteries from becoming dislodged when swinging and clashing with the lightsaber which as a string blade lightsaber I don't actually recommend doing to begin with uh, the string blades in these are very easy to break um, I can't tell you how many times I've seen other force effects lightsabers especially the hasbro ones where the leds and the string blade have broken out now as far as the hilt goes it is really kind of one of the least my least favorite of the hasbro black series um just simply because it really i mean you, you get the idea it gets the point across of whose lightsaber it's supposed to be but the lack of an actual true thin neck really just sort of gives it more of a toy feel. Um, on top of that, um, I don't know if it's just the dullness of the brush finishing, um, but it really feels more like the toy Luke Skywalker lightsaber um, from the Blade Builder series to me, just because of the thickness of it, and again, because it doesn't have that, tr that true thin neck to it. Um, the triangle ring is actually very oversized, and if you can tell, it doesn't actually, once it's actually, t the pommel is tightened back up onto it, it really doesn't go to the correct location for this particular lightsaber. Now, since the blade is not removable on it, it really kind of seems purely for, de for decoration that it has the triangle ring on here. One thing that I do like about it, though, is that instead of the switch card on the control box being used as the slide switch to activate it, the little black buttons on the side activate the lightsaber. As far as the electronics goes, uh, again, with this one, just like with the Darth Vader Black Series Force Effects lightsaber from Hasbro, um, you can see some of the spacing in between the LEDs and the string blade and the sound quality really is not up to the expectations. Um, it is not as good as the sound quality in the Master Replicas lightsabers, um, particularly from 2005 as an example, my Anakin Skywalker one. And it definitely is not nearly, you know, up to the standard that would be set by the Obsidian soundboards from Ultra Sabers, Saber Forge's soundboards, or even a Nano Biscotti V5. Um, it only has a few different swing effects. And it really doesn't sound a lot like the lightsaber from Return of the Jedi. So all in all, as a lightsaber replica itself, the Hasbro Black Series Luke Skywalker isn't the best, um, but it is something to add to the collection. It is a licensed collect collectible. Um, and if you already saw my other video about how we got the lightsaber, it'll, that would pretty much explain why this one has you know a special place for me. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like video and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought or let me know what you'd like to see in the future. If you haven't, please subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching and may the force be with you. Bye-bye.